Hey guys. It wasn't legit cosplay, but it was. Yeah, it was yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do. Actually, in the middle of some stuff. But uh, yeah, we're just here with um, some more. Uh, yeah, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. I uh, probably should have closed some of this stuff before, but you know, for whatever reason, I just wanted to go live right about nowish. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, what's the plan today? Not too much. I uh, just hope you guys are doing good. Uh, the plan for me today is, uh, yeah, we just kind of, uh, yeah, we just kind of chat and, uh, as usual, as is tradition, I'm just gonna, yeah, share a few things out here online and just, uh, yeah, basically put out the fact that, hey, we're out here, we're live, we're kicking. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little later, here in about, Five ten minutes. Let's boot up a good old Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. Have a little fun. Uh, we're just gonna chill today. So, uh, but anyway, <laughs> so okay, there's that. Got everything sent on my feeder. So there we go. Um, hmm. Okay. So there we go. Can close this now. And then, um, should I share this on my Facebook? Sure. You know, I almost never share the fact that I'm live on my Facebook, but it, hey, you know what? Can't hurt, right? I'll share that over there. <laughs> Little rare instance of Facebook sharing. Um, oh, and it closes the tab by itself. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm also going to close some other tabs I have open. Uh, also, also, <laughs> let me do myself a huge favor and mute Chrome as is tradition, as well as Discord. Um, I actually have Discord pulled up for once, so. And let me just double check this. So let me close the volume mixer. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing uh <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. So me, I'm I'm chilling, man. I I woke up like uh, as is tradition on Saturday. <laughs> it's so weird. My body's still programmed for what for this <laughs> for for literally Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> so uh yeah, basically, guys, like this isn't a very interesting story. But it is a very common story, I'm sure. But yeah, long story short, uh, <laughs> yeah, I used to wake up around this time every Saturday, start watching Adult Swim, which I, I definitely shouldn't have been allowed to watch. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, just went for um, uh, Inuyasha. Inuyasha would be on right about now. So, uh, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Um, oh, that's something else I should, um, uh, let's see, latest YouTube video. I'm going to go ahead and post that. Well, actually, I'm just going to pin a series I recommend. So, <laughs> today, we're going to be playing some Master Duel, but uh, there is a series I'm running over on my YouTube channel, which I recommend you guys check out. This is called Nightmare Troubadour. <laughs> oh no no no! <laughs> Why don't I recommend this series? Of course. So let me go <laughs> here. I'm actually going to recommend yeah, Forbidden Memories. It's like one of the most popular uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games of all time, and so I'm going to recommend this episode. So, yep. Uh, this is called High Shin Makes His Move. Very straightforward episode. Um. <laughs> If you know Forbidden Memories, wait, you're up a little for <laughs> 8, 8 a.m. recess. Yeah, it's 8 a.m. here in uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> Good to have you guys. I uh, hope uh, you're having a nice recess as well. I don't know. I guess is the, isn't the the weekend kind of a recess? Yeah, it's like a recess from a 9 to 5 job. So, um, anyway. <laughs> I can... Is, is, Ooh. So there we go. Anyway, let's see. There we go, guys. Yeah, check that on out. That's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. So there we go. And um, oh, <laughs> oh, she's online. That's that's so awesome. One <laughs> a streamer I follow is online here. So that's cool. Like she literally just uh, went live just as I did. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, should I go in there and say hi? Why not? <laughs> you know, I got Chrome muted and stuff, so let me just type this in here. Um, and then 
I'll just stop by and say, yeah, but good to have you find Mama of Three. Gar gargoyles was what? <laughs> gargoyles was the best. Goliath rules. Hmm. My favorite gargoyle from the original gargoyles. Was it Goliath? No. Not at all. <laughs> um, the Saturday. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Gotcha. <laughs> No, who was my favorite of the original Gargoyles? So there's Brooklyn, right? And there's also um, Broadway, yeah? And there's um, Bronx, you know, the dog. Um, now, the cop's name was, um, oh, uh, Mazda. Detective Mazda, yeah. <laughs> For a regular human, she contributed quite a bit to the show. Um, yeah, who's my favorite Gargoyle? Well, plot twist, guys. Is it Angela? You know, <laughs> they're... Uh, uh, Goliath and um, the person I can't think of their names, child, uh, Demona. Yeah, is it uh, Angela, Goliath, and uh, or or is it um, what's his name? It starts with a Z. The guy who makes all the robot mech suits and stuff. Um, what is his name? Man, cause they, <laughs> man, how many times do they say his name? I can't think of it right now. But I'm pretty uh Z. I uh, mean, I was on one type. Because I was about to say, Mr. Is it Xanathos? No, I feel like I'm adding an extra A. Uh, well, anyway, you guys know who I'm talking about. The guy who makes the red, uh, <laughs> the guy in Gargoyles who makes the red mech suit <laughs> to kind of rival Goliath. Um, <laughs> so, uh, don't. Sh huh? What's that? Oh, oh, high shin reference. Nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, find Mama of Threes a Forbidden Memories fan, and you too can be one. So feel free to go check it out. Speaking of that, hmm, should I play that today? Mm, I don't know about that. I'm not really in the mood. Um, yeah, well, what's on the agenda today? So for YouTube, we've got a dueling marathon, as is tradition. Uh, I was just talking about why I'm up so early. So, <laughs> yeah, I used to watch Inuyasha. Um, yeah, what else did I watch on Adult Swim? Bleach. Um, but Bleach wasn't on until, like, 2000. So, but, yeah, early on, I used to watch, I think, Futurama. Came, Family Guy reruns. Family Guy. Yeah, so there would be reruns of Family Guy. Um uh Inuyasha there was another anime that anime like I would always catch the tail end of it cuz I'd catch I would usually do my shower it was the anime that came on right after Inuyasha and I can't think of the name well because then I didn't really pay attention deeply because it was always the shower anime which <laughs> well, well, boy that sounds a little weird maybe I should rule that <laughs> <laughs> not like that guys but you know like literally uh true i think so i don't know depends on what game you're talking about fine well anyway find my muff three do you play master duel if so i hope you've gotten a lot of um gems in the recent events um, also, you could be making a Nightmare Troubadour reference, because the Shadow Games, yeah, you do, uh, get game over on Shadow Games, so, I don't know what reference you're making, but, uh, <laughs> either way, glad you're here, so, but no, 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 to answer the Gargoyles question, so, my favorite Gargoyles character, it is Demona, you know, yeah, it is indeed Demona, <laughs> so... And not like the good Demona. No, I mean Demona, just Demona, Demona. The double agent. The person who's working both sides the entire time. And, you know, ultimately the guy who um, infiltrates with the Phoenix Gate. I always forget his name. But, um, yeah, he's quite the villain, too. The villain in disguise who was there the whole time. You guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, if you've ever followed the Gargoyles and the Phoenix Gate saga... Pretty awesome stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, got that. Um, I think I'll boot up Master Duel now. 
Um, actually, that's a great question. Do I even want to play Master Duel? Not really, no. But uh, you guys know how it is, man. New game. You got to play the new stuff, right? Uh, <laughs> let's kick the can down the road. You know, while I'm here, let's, uh, yeah. I've got Discord open anyway. And I kind of need to mute Discord. Uh, let's check Iga's Discord, because sometimes um, she's got one or two people in here. And um, also, I might be missing important information. Yeah, I didn't even know she was... Uh, I'm, I'm glad she's out of the hospital, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, ooh, nice. Nice. Oh. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, same here. All right. Well, anyway, let's um dum dum ba dum ba dum bum 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 bum. Let's just open this, and I'll share that I'm live in a couple discords. Oh, right. I posted this earlier, so <laughs> sure. Let's just copy. <laughs> oh, good. Um, let's um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna post it there, and um, hopefully this person doesn't. Mind. I I don't think they will. So, <laughs> but um, do that, and then let's post in here. I haven't posted in this Discord in a while. Uh, goat format. <laughs> yeah, it's always a good call. Um, and then right here. Yep. And yeah, just right there. All right, guys. We've posted. We are live in. <clears throat> Let's just do it in a, one other Discord at random here that I know allows shout outs. Um, this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, they have a section for it. And right, they do allow um, shout outs here. So, yeah, sure. We'll just kind of put it on in there and, you know, <laughs> uh, paste. Boom. All right. Well, with that being done, let's. Uh, the ba -ba -ba. Close Discord. Oh, I should have muted it while I had it open. Uh, maybe I still can. Um, go to Volume Mixer. <laughs> but yeah, glad you were here, Fine Mama of three. And see you a little later. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go to my <laughs> Volume. Let's see if I can mute Discord now. I cannot. Okay. All good. All good in the hood. So now, now that we've sent out all the noties. Um, yeah, as is tradition, let's go to gameplay and let's boot up U dash D G I dash O H. Wish me luck, guys. Um, yeah, goals for the stream. Obviously, we want to finish up the <laughs> Duelist Cup rewards. That's number one. So, uh, yeah, anything else that happens is a gravy. So, let's do it. All right. Goal. Um, Finish getting all gems from yep. Alright. Um we may leave level seventeen one and skip those. Yeah, because that's the one thing I do remember is that you can um you can rank down after you get to yeah the, it's that uh, format of Duelist Cup to where, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Once you get to fifteen, you can start to rank down. Which and you know we're running gimmick decks. You know I could just switch to a real <laughs> deck at fifteen. Ugh. I might actually have to craft infinite and permanents though, and I don't want to do that, man. That's that's, eh. and I may have to do it, guys. I may have to do the unthinkable if we want to get to level. Um, 17. I may have to play access code. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> man, that just makes me just. <clears throat> oh, man. God. Oh, Ooh, I almost couldn't hold it in, guys. Ooh. Oh, man. You, you long term viewers know how I feel about access code talker. Oh, man. Oh, it's just so boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys know how I feel about access code. If you if you've ever been like if you're a real friend of mine, if you're a real like friend, 
you know, you know how I feel about access code talker. And it's just so just, oh, man, it's almost like a, any branded fusion engine. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> even just saying it, oh, me having to play, have, no, not only having to play with access code, me having to win with access code just for the gyms <laughs> makes me makes me sick just thinking about it. Makes me want to hurl. Uh, all right, hopefully we connect to games fairly easy today. I don't know. Honestly, I hope Master Duel crashes over and over and over and over. That way I have a legitimate excuse. I can be like, you know, to Tim, my editor, as well as my uh, other investor, I can just be like, hey, I tried, you know, I tried to boot it up four times in a row. Couldn't launch a match. Whoops. Oh, well, looks like we're playing Duels of the Roses, you know, or whatever. <laughs> this is let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master of Blind. I flip on 14. <sighs> please fail. Please, please. Master Duel. Jesus, I'm praying right now. Please make mass this the worst Master Duel stream and make just every game just just ruin that Wi-Fi. Just ruin it. Just you know, you control the atmosphere. Jesus, please. Please ruin the Wi-Fi, because I do not want to stream this right now. Amen. Hey, that's a good start. You see how how slow it is taken to do the primary launch? A good sign. And you guys know the rules. If we get five total crashes where I have to go back to title screen, we get to play whatever game we want. If we have four crashes in a row, I'm sorry, if we have three crashes in a row, aka three failures to launch in a row, we also get to, um, yeah, play whatever we want. Also, 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 if we time out two consecutive games in a row due to a glitch or otherwise unforeseen um, apparition, we also get to play whatever we want and close Master Duel. So, yep, second stage begins. Um, anyway, let's duel. Let's see what uh, ones we have left. So, yeah, I'm hoping for the five total, the five total reboots. <laughs> I think that's very plausible in this stream. Uh, so we need six total duels. <laughs> Just one spell or trap. All right, so let's... Autobots assemble, Sam. G give him the cue, Sam. All right, and this is over on the 29th. Isn't today the 29th? Ooh, it's the 28th. I see. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. I think we can feasibly reach this, too. But um, the 17. Ooh, I might actually have to play access code. <clears throat> oh man, I. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I guess this would be nice. 19. That is another 400, but. You can start to level down at this point, so I don't know. Not too good for content. <laughs> not too, not too good for content. Yeah, because at that point you basically have to switch to meta, or you don't have a chance. So I'd probably just go full cash, money, meta. Anyway, All right. Wish me luck. Oh, I got a dragon maid. Oh, please fail. Please fail. 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 Yes. Fail well. All right. Okay. Please fail to launch. Please fail to launch. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Oh, yay. A light sworn deck. Looks like we'll be here for 20 minutes. What are they doing? Oh, grass. <laughs> and people wonder why I play 60 cards. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. We ran into a light sworn player. <laughs> there it is, guys. There's the scoop. And you guys wonder, you know, you guys are always wondering, you know, who are normally in my chat, like like mini KCS gaming I got. You guys are always wondering, why do you play 60 cards to counter grass? And you see, that's why they scooped immediately. They noticed I was playing 60 and that their grass couldn't resolve. Winning. 
me playing 60 cards there won us that game. No, like legit, like seriously. Us playing a 60 card deck won us that game. They were playing Light Sworn Grass and they had already milled the grass. Therefore, if they had a way to like retrieve the grass and not pass on grass, they had a way to win. AKA Light Sworn Combo into Oblivion. Yeah, us playing 60 cards legit won us that game. There you go, guys. That's all the evidence I need. All right, another 60-card deck. Oh, no, this is a 47-card deck, because that really makes a difference. All right, Mainest of Phases. Ooh, Ryo. With the cross sheet. All right, ooh, Sioux Ships. I like Sioux Ships. Okay. All right. Going to go into Shari, probably. Iruka is going to grab... Um, Shari, indeed. Well, this counts as Shari, but it's actually red. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. By the way, I don't think I've ever told chat, but I'm actually allergic to shrimp. Have I? Have I ever? Oh, fun fact by me. What mod 14? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let this VOD be a, uh, yeah, if I ever, uh, hmm, if I'm ever in the hospital due to shrimp, <laughs> yeah, um, you guys who are loyal to me and who um, I love, and you love me, yeah, just kind of uh, let the uh, let the five zero know <laughs> that uh, yeah, he said he was allergic to uh, shrimp, so just throwing that out there. Anyway, or no ten. Let's see, a card. Right, so let's go by Bedwagon, Toksha Shokan. Then we summon Machina Gear Frame. All right, and we're playing we're playing Roids. All right, we we have Helicopter Roid. Autobots prepare to engage the enemy. Now then, go Machina Fortress assemble. Go Autobots. I discard. I discard Fortress Tron and Helicopter Tron to summon. Machina Fortress, I am Megatron. And let's just get credit for special summoning. Is this the best move? Definitely not. But, you know, we're already here. We're already, you know, here playing. We're dueling. Let's just get credit for special summoning here. Go, Autobots, combine. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Oh, great. Now it's a Saint Seiya episode. Uh, I guess let's use Repair Plant. Yeah, sure, because we only needed one spell or traps. <laughs> uh, sure, let's add, uh, I don't know, um, Core. Because why not? All right. <clears throat> um, then let's um, Battle Fox, um, BLS, Kogik. All right. And then um, BLS, Tokshinodiku. Like you point the up. <laughs> Now then, I'll set one card face down. Great job, Bumblebee. Way to use the power of Cybertron. Transformers more than meets. This card does look like a Transformer. It looks like a Power Ranger Megazord. Like, it does. It looks like the, uh, I don't know. If this was a Power Ranger Megazord, what kind would it be? Oh, no, not Harpy's Feather Duster. Oh, that kind of does suck. Yeah, Grand Horn of Heaven was a heck of a card. <laughs> Yeah, destroy then your opponent draws. Then in the main phase. Yeah, that's so cool. All right, anyway. Let's see if they have a kaiju or something. Ooh, that's a pretty good. So they get to grab um the main Sioux ship. Yeah, uh, Shari. So, yeah, unexpected die is really good. So they can always go into Zeus here. You know, so. This should be over, really. Realistically. Visa Star. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. Do whatever you got to do, man. I ain't mad at you, Rio. Swing of memory. Wow. They got some normal support, all right. Nice job there. Um, she sa so say. Okay, so they get to revive. Uh, yeah, the Shari, which is smart, because that way they can draw a card and then go into Zeus stuff. So, yeah, not too bad. Yep, and plus they get the X. Ooh, Mirror Force. Maxi. Nice. That uh, Inari was clutch right there. So they do get to add that, right? 
Oh, they did not. Interesting. Utopia Double. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Double or Nothing OTK. Nicely done. Detach to add Double or Nothing. Very good. Nicely done, Rio. Proud of you, man. This is how you do it. Then you can kind of climb into all the Utopia overlays. Nice. Utopia. All right. You can add that rank up magic. Oh, yep. That negate its own attack. Double or Nothing. Sweet, man. That's how you do it right there. Yep. Now I can attack again. And this should be an OTK. So, uh, there you go. So, kaboom. 55. Oh, it's not quite an OTK. 400 short. No, not bad, though. And then from there, you can go into Zeus or <laughs> just do whatever you want to do. Uh, there's a lot of Utopia stuff. You can climb into Dragonair. Probably a good call. All right, Rio's going to close straight into Zeus. Okay. All right, not bad. All right. All right. So I draw here. Ooh, that's not too bad. All right. So I will use core here. All right. <laughs> With core, we will grab... Hmm... Uh, on the field, on the field, hmm, on the field. I feel like the ad here is actually Cyber Emergency. Well, let's see if it gets ashed, but yeah. Hmm, no ash. Okay, so I think what we need to do is... <laughs> no, no, I think we need to play... Cyber emergency for Nachster. So, because that is the key here. Nachster, right? Okay. Nachster has been added. We, now we kaiju um, this. So, see Zeus for a kaiju. All right. And then, oh, you have to discard a monster for Nachster. Oh, I thought it was any card. Oh, bro. Oh, that is disappointing. That is disappointing indeed. Wow. Yeah. Um. Hmm. What can I do here? Ugh, can't really do anything. Just have to set. Man, I thought it was any card. Hmm. Well, I mean, Zeus was still had two materials there, so. Well, we got credit for special summoning. That's right. And we got to play a spell or trap, so. We got some rewards out of this one. All right. Go Autobots. Engage the enemy. Vsauce Star Force. I am Megatron. <laughs> this guy looks like a uh, Saint Seiya character, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> Nightmare Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't blame you. You know, I only got one face down. So many points. That's the right play. Yeah. <laughs> or is it? I mean, I guess that could have been a Solemn or something, but... Hey, good game to Rio, our opponent. Not too bad. All right, so... And I guess I learned an important lesson about Nachstetter. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, with that being said, let us uh, grab some gems. <laughs> All right, so we go here. We go here. Go, yep, got all the spells and traps, so we're done with that. One a duel, done with that. Link summon, done with that. All right, and we only need one more duel to win in the Duelist Cup, and we will have the 30 here, so that's pretty nice. Um, all right, more Autobots, go. <laughs> in order to defeat Megatron, he's more powerful than ever. We have to resurrect the Fallen. Using this magic card, she saw so say. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Okay. Oh, let me. All right. <laughs> oh. Ooh. All right. Nice. So this is cash. 
It's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right. So we'll get to see some cash money combos here. Uh, yep. That's Unicorn. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Nice. Birth. Yep. Pretty good. There's the Rise Heart. Wow. So they got Rise Heart too. Full combo, basically. <laughs> All right. <Let's> see. <laughs> All right. So I'm guessing with Finn Rear they add a uh, like Scareclaw or <laughs> whatever they want to the hand. Uh, Ira, Ira, uh oh, what's pumping in now? Underlay, underlay, under Ira, Ira, uh oh. All right, so just Ira, Finn Rear, pass. Not too bad. All right, <laughs> Steamroid, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So get a cash monster from the deck. This is Unicorn. All right. So what we do here is pretty simple. Let us grab Fenrir. Okay. Fenrir attack mode. All right. Response by person. They're playing basically meta cash here. Um, let's see what they do. <laughs> Probably one of these is Imperm, I would imagine, yeah. So, see what their response is. Let's see. Okay, so from here, we just battle Fenrir. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of our viewers showed us how to counter this, so do not use the effects. It is indeed Imperm. We do not use the effect again because it is Imperm. Then we main two. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Changri Eros effect has activated. So we go into Rise Heart. Okay. Rise Heart right here. And then luckily, NXZ's monster has battled. So we can go into Zeus. There's the Rise Heart. All right. And there's the Solemn. Nice. Solemn Judgment. All right. Very good by our opponent there. And with that being done, we should be good to go. Because here we can play like Cyber Dragon and stuff. Also, we do have some Roid cards we can play for defense. So yeah, let's just play this in defense. Cydra. And we will set Drill Roid. There we go. All right. <laughs> and we'll end the turn. Luckily, we have Gores here. So that honestly does make me feel... We can at least survive... One more turn than we're supposed to, because no one ever sees course coming. So, all right. All right, ogre. There you go. All right. No, not Bumblebee. How dare you destroy it? <laughs> All right, so they're going to probably grab Theosis and stuff. So, yep. Okay. This is just kind of normal, standard vanilla cash. There's there's nothing special going on here, guys. <laughs> right. All right. How nice of them to show you guys how to combo with uh, their hard-earned money and not mine. <laughs> Appreciate them showing you, like, the royals and stuff. That's that's very wonderful. Yeah, and that way I don't have to show you guys full cash combo. They're just going to tell you, like, okay, 
this is what you should uh, run in the event. Yeah, use all your craft material and just play this deck. Very consistent and easy. So, all right, there's their rise heart. Very good. All right. Da -da -da -da. Nice, and with Fenrir, they should be able to Ghost Fang Venom. There you go. And use Rice Heart and use uh, Ida Ida. Uh oh, what's happening now? Underlay, underlay, under Ida Ida. Uh oh. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Rice Heart grabs the material. Fenrir attacks directly. Should I Gorse here? Actually, no, I should not. But I should gorge right here. Yep, so they'll never see the gorge coming. So here we go, guys. Activate Royal Gores. <laughs> oh, that's good, sir. All right, we just activated Royal Gores to survive the turn against full power cash. And we're just going to put this token in defense. <laughs> Hope you're having a good uh, morning, sir. Night, evening, whatever time it is for you. <laughs> Yep, and we stopped full cash OTK, so. But yeah, if you guys want to play full cash, just monkey see, monkey do, you know what I mean? Just copy whatever they're doing over here, and yeah. <laughs> it's very nice of them to spend their hard-earned money on my content for free. All right. Da -da -da -da. All right, we did it, though, sir. We got to flex that royal. And in the end, didn't we really win? We got to flex this. We got to flex it. All right. 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 Good. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So good game to our opponent there. Uh, let me just. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Um. By the way, sir, would you like a viewer duel? If so, just let me know, and uh, yeah, we'll get you in here pretty quickly. So, yeah, because we are doing viewer duels if uh, requested. Otherwise, and we're just moving along here. So. There we go. Um, let's see here. I think that qualified for one of our last duels. So that's wait, what's that? Um oh uh, uh, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, not to worry, not to worry. Uh yeah. Just checking on in. Uh let's see about the rewards here. Yeah. Um I guess that's my question, sir. Um yeah, sir, uh, thanks a lot. Um, if you don't have Master Duel, what's your go-to game? <laughs> that's always a good question. Or hey, maybe you don't like games. That's that's fine. <laughs> what's your fav If you don't like games, what's your favorite? Sir, thanks a lot. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. I might have misspoke there. <laughs> but uh, if you don't like games, then what's your favorite eh, thing in life? Yeah, oh, we'll go with that. It's a pretty open-ended question. <laughs> All right, so we'll go first. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh, sadly, I'm on TCG. Oh, oh, you're a TCG player. Wait, did they max C during their turn? That and Pokemon I, I see, I see. Hey, nothing wrong with it, man. Nothing wrong with it. 
Nothing wrong with it, sir. Um, I like uh, Pokemon ROM hacks as well. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously I play some TCG. Let me see here. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> uh, let's summon the almighty oil man. That's right, Maxi. You stand no chance now. And my turn. <laughs> so anyway, let's see how they OTK us. Will it be... Uh, uh, oh, right. Yeah, th that one is a little spooky. Yeah, so uh, what Sir's talking about is, uh, yeah, Pokemon Nightmare Version Invasion. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty little spooky, spooky game we've been, uh, yeah, we've kind of been getting into. We had our first boss fight, um, I think it was two streams ago versus Nido King. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty, f yeah, if you guys, uh, yeah, you guys on the VOD, um, this, you may be watching this quite a bit in the future. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, chasing you around with fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys on the YouTube VOD. Yeah, go check out my uh, Pokemon Nightmare Inversion, Nightmare Version Invasion uh, playlist, which will be in the link below on the bottom of this one. Yeah, go check. Yeah, really, like, just just give it a chance. It's like off the beaten path Pokemon. It's like the Majora's Mask of uh, Pokemon. ROM hacks. So, pretty fun. Pretty fun. All right. Yeah, and just get you a little little spooky snack, a little popcorn, maybe a little uh, uh, drink, maybe some uh, Kool Aid or something. Um, do um, mm, I actually don't know anything about WWE. Uh, yeah, so the stuff I know ended when The Rock no longer was a wrestler. You know, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So. Sorry, <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, sir, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, sir has my kind of humor, Dwayne Nibiru Johnson, <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh yeah. So they're going for Galaxy Expedition. So I imagine eventually they'll climb into the new uh Tachyon uh triple headed um galaxy card. Um no, for now they're just kinda going and getting Photon Dragon and stuff. So I guess they do need level eights for uh the OTK. So Yep, now they can <laughs> look at our extra deck because uh that clearly matters here. <laughs> but, uh, and then, uh, you do you. You do you, uh, DPE. <gasps> that reminds me. Hey, sir, guess what we haven't seen all festival long? Photosynthesis. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Oh, uh, by the way, I like this dragon champion made. That's pretty kick ass. Yeah, guess what we haven't seen all, um, all Duelist Cup long? And we played like a lot of duels, man. Guess what we haven't seen? I can't believe we haven't seen this card yet. Uh, DP, it, DP made me think of this card. Man. Yeah, that's, like, that's crazy. That's crazy that, um, yeah, we haven't seen, yeah, get old Destiny Hero Fe We haven't seen heroes, period. Like, and I'm just like, what? Usually, like, okay, you know what I mean, sir? <laughs> Usually in every event, there's a, we at least run into five Blue Eyes players, 10 Dark Magician players, and at least, like, four hero players all playing DPE Turbo. I mean, that's just my luck, you know. That's so weird. That's so weird. <laughs> it's almost like Beast Shields are meta, meta or something. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, where do they all go? Like, and it's just like, you know what I mean? Sir, uh, thanks a lot. Like, this is one of those events. You get gems no matter what, so... I'm really surprised we haven't ran into at least one person playing um, DPE Turbo. Wait, sir, uh, thanks a lot. Wait, wait, no, no, you said you don't play Master Duel. Ooh, I wonder if Anaconda's banned. Well, we can find out, we can find out. Okay, okay, okay. This will answer some questions for me, because they do ban some cards 
for it. Let me see here. Maybe DPE's banned. Maybe. Okay. So let's type in. These are the two cards we need to type in. Fusion. Destiny. Okay. Okay, so that's allowed. Um, okay. It's allowed. Why isn't no one playing this? Have I entered an alternate timeline? The same timeline that Four Kids forgot to dub? Uh, ooh, good question. Good question. Okay. Uh, uh, plants. Um, Verte is at one. So. Yeah, that's kind of weird. We haven't run into one hero player, not even like a Neo Fusion hero player. That's very odd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone forgot to dub the timeline, therefore messing it up. <laughs> oh good. Uh, let's see, two more duels. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one more duel. Okay, we're doing good here. We're doing good. All right. <laughs> oh, good. All right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, sir, I do have a question for you. How many duels, right, until we run into a burn deck? How many do you think? Because at some point, a burn deck is going to run into us like Trick Stars. It's going to hit us like a Mac truck. So how many? How many do you think, uh, sir? Thanks a lot. You know, you know. Starting now, obviously, this is dual one. So, within two. Okay, that's that's probably a good call. I'm gonna guess exactly on dual eight because we're at least gonna play that many times. Um, so forty card deck. Let's see if they scoop to cash because some people can't like cash. So, but yeah, within two. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's, um, okay, so let's grab Unicorn. Good. And I guess we can grab, um, what's funny is it doesn't matter what we grab here. With Cyber Emergency. Yeah, we're just going to go into uh, Transformers. More than meets the eye. Um, let's grab Cyber Dragon. Now go, Bumblebee. Now I summon. Go. Convertatron. I discard. Cyber Dragon. Autobots assemble. By the way, uh Jesse Cotton Yu-Gi-Oh! is not Whoa, dude. Okay, that's um that's a little scary. Help him. Yeah. That's scary, man. That's mm, I, don't, I don't know about that. That's um very scary. Um I'll be praying for him, man, because that's is he um uh, Sir, thanks a lot. Is uh Jesse is he doing like some kind of challenge or yeah, let's deal with that. Hmm. Yeah, forty-eight hours. That's uh. Oh, maybe he's doing a subathon. Okay, okay. You know, I suddenly feel a lot less worry. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, a subathon for the Duelist Cup. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, okay, okay. But yeah, you guys be uh, you guys be praying for Jesse Cotton, or just you know, send him support, send him your love. You know what I mean? I just go over there and check on him and ask, like, hey, have you drank some water or something? You know, because that's, uh, that's quite a lot of time. Uh, let's go for Unicorn right here. And let's see if we're in the Cash Mirror match here. I have a feeling we are. Cash Mirror? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Ah, good old branded. So it was only a matter of time, right, Chet? <laughs> good old branded fusion. Uh, then again, wait, wait, wait. Let's pause. It could be lore accurate despia. <laughs> Oh, man. 
All right, so we unicorn. Obviously, the target is Mirror Jade, right? I mean, what else would I use it on? Um, <laughs> well, they got two Mirror Jades, so maybe I should do it on this. Well, then again, this card's pretty good, too. Um, wait, where's the... Um, hmm. Yeah, Albion's pretty good. Um, Dragostapalia. Yeah, that's pretty... Uh, huh. Um, hmm. let's just get rid of, hmm, I guess I'll get rid of the one of, of uh, Masquerade, huh, hmm, the dark, yeah, hmm, I'm not really sure what I should banish here, huh, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of, uh, Masquerade, yeah, we'll get rid of Masquerade, all right. And we'll activate Ida. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the right banish or not. Hmm. Pretty interesting, yeah. Alright. Yep, pretty interesting. That spell or trap. That spell or trap. Right, branded fusion. Okay. Branded I'm guessing they're going to go into Albion here. Um, that seems like the right uh, play. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what they do here. Hmm. So yeah, there's that. It is Rindum Drum. Rind Brum. Huh. Interesting. Um. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, I see, I see. So it's kind of an opponent interaction thing. Oh, end of main phase, huh? Wow. Guess I should have put Unicorn in attack mode. That's my bad, guys. Well, <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. All right, well. Hmm. I expected more, honestly, there, but... All right, well. If we fumble, that's because I didn't put it in attack mode. Uh, <laughs> That's a good draw. Way to go. Come to my hand. Go. Power Ranger Tron. <laughs> I guess we get impermed here. Oh, right, right. Beast. We know they had that because they searched it, so. Um, let's just grab Fenrir here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, we add with Fenrir. Uh -huh. Um, doesn't really matter what we take. I guess Ogre's fine. Um, special, um, Claw. Okay, so we Claw Defense. Um, Banish from, this is in the graveyard, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Um... Um, I think we try for this. Well, let again. Let me think about this. And Rear's effect is online. Your effect also online. Um. Hmm. 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 Negated till the end of the turn. Wow. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So, I think what we do is we actually battle. <laughs> We Fenrir this, uh-huh, right, and then we Fenrir banish um, this face down. Hmm, yeah, <laughs> say goodbye to Exodia, okay, then we lock a zone. We're just going to talk our way through this one, all right, and then, mm-hmm. So, there's that. Hmm. From the field to the hand. Okay, so they do get rid of it there. Hmm. Nah. Oh, I attacked in the wrong order, didn't I? Yeah, because what I should have did was scare claw into this immediately. That's what I should have done. Okay, well, we figured it out. There was a solution there. But, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> hmm, interesting. That is pretty interesting. So what I should have done was Scareclaw first, uh, Fenrir second. But let's just try to combo from here. Um, yeah, let's just tribute Claw and Rear and Rear to play Cash Uni. Let's see what that face down is. The last one. Wow. Clutch. Oh, that is so clutch, man, for them. Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, yeah, with that, I guess we can special Ogre just to get the credit for special summoning. And we don't have prep in this deck, do we? Um, no, we do not. So, yep. Pretty good duel by them. Um, hey, man. <laughs> they had the right cards. We did not have these cards. So... Yeah, and I also misplayed big time with that uh, Scareclaw move. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because I, I remember reading that part, and I was just like, ah, that effect's not going to come up. But um, no, it did, because I fin reared. So that's my bad. Um, pretty interesting, though. And then from here, they go into whatever. Doesn't really matter. Point is, they got rid of our card. Uh, <laughs> sure. We'll banish something. Uh, Imperm, nice. Hand trap, hand trap, hand trap. Hand trap, foolish hand trap. All right, so we get that. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like there was a way we could have played that better, but all good. <laughs> all right. And from here, what's nice is they'll probably BM a little. So from here, I can at least um, go work on some other stuff. And I'm working on some YouTube stuff, so in the background here, so don't mind me. All right, <laughs> there we go. Let's close this. Um, okay. Right. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> Jesse Cotton, why'd you get? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, somehow we didn't get OTK there, so... Wait, well, no, they probably have a quick play, like uh, Branded in Red, so... Alright. Huh. Not a... That's odd. Yeah, it's so weird. I guess they didn't pull um, the 8 that climbs. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, that's wonderful and all. It just doesn't matter. Um... What's the ad here? It uh, doesn't really matter. Monster Reborn. I guess we'll take one of his cards, since ours could be called by. Um, let's just grab Fallen of Albaz and yeah, go from there. All right. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> now we uh, professionally bluff evenly here.
<laughs> Good game to our opponent right there. All right. Nice. All right, guys, and we did it. So we got the 50 duels, and our last duel was branded. Shocked? I'm not. <laughs> All right, Sir did predict uh, two duels till we see a burn strat, so let's see. Also, we only need one more duel, and honestly, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I guess we need to win one more duel. We need to win. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Megatron, we must stop you now in your reign of terror. Autobots, get ready to engage the enemy. Um, hmm, interesting. So let's go for Machina Fortress. So with this, I will discard Cyberdwagon to play. Uh, oh, and Machina Fortress, of course, to play Machina Fortress. That's how that works. Next, hmm. Uh, okay, next I will summon um, Mixeroid. <laughs> now then, it's time. Go, I'll summon Bumblebee from the deck. Now come forth. Hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> come forth myself. I summon Optimus Prime in attack mode. And behold, it's me, Optimus Prime. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Do, 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 do. Although this one looks more like a Gundam. No, no, no. This could be a, a shuttle transformer. <laughs> a shuttle Rotron. <laughs> All right. Let's pass. All right. Nice. Ooh, Dark World stuff. All right, you guys know what that means. We hit off. <laughs> so, I guess Sir was uh, slightly off in the prediction. This is the second duel. This looks like Dark World Turbo Saruja OTK. I think so. <laughs> All right. Right. This is an old box of Kaiba that I opened eh, about like four years ago. So I, I've been needing to sleeve these cards for a while. <laughs> All right. So here were the pulls. Uh, let's just give them the best results possible here. So let's give them Diabolica. There we go. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And Mirror Force in Sanctuary. Controller. <laughs> Sage. Sweet Revenge. King of D. 
Oh, some of these are face down. Pro. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> Majesty. Braden. EDV. There we go. Uh, Melody. That's actually really good. <laughs> Ash. There we go. And Ring. So there we go. And here we go. All right, <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. And... All right. Mm -hmm. well, let's grab a folder is what we need. We need a new folder. Um, oh, I can grab it. Um, uh, yeah, kind of cool. No, no. Yeah, let me see if I can find another folder. All right, so they had to end turn for whatever reason. I'm guessing the timer. <laughs> oh, anyway, Harpy's Feather Duster for the plus three. <laughs> All right, there is that one. So they will negate, have us discard something. Oh, no, they did attack. It's just, uh... all right, so they discard snow. Then it's their turn. Right. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Here. Let's just use core here. And get negated. <laughs> mm. If this will work. Just um, the sleeves here. <laughs> All right, and then we go battle phase. And there we go. Oh. <laughs> um, cancel. And two. And we'll set this. All right. Do, do, do. All right. All right. So uh, more Dark World combos for your entertainment. <laughs> there you go, guys. Guard. In a zombie. Mischief of the gnome. Right. See here. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Hmm. Nice. All right. There's XYZ, virus cannon, just the dirts. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess I can end my turn here. Oh, there's the ash. So that's actually pretty helpful. Yeah. Type him in. Uh, Melody. And then castle. Yeah. And. Trade in. Uh, let's see. Master. Eyes of Blue. 
maiden. Okay, that. Um, nice. All right, so. <laughs> all right, all duels done. And with that, we've done all the duels we need to in Duelist Cup. Um, the only one we need is to win. And I don't care, it's just 30 gems. If we miss out on that, <laughs> not a big deal. I, I legit do not care. Um, what else? Let's see. I guess we'll shoot for the 200. But other than that, yeah, we're doing good here. So, all right. And let's do... Um, bum, 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 bum. Related cards. Let's do that. All right, and let's add another. That, that's pretty important. Um, let's take out. <laughs> take out. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Repair plant actually, and let's take out. <laughs> I feel like we only need one core at this point. Yeah, kind of. Okay. All right. And pretty good. All right. Thanks. Also, we can take this out. Uh, I have no way to make it. No way to make this. Um. Yeah, we can just play some more stuff here. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go back to here. Alright. <laughs> and let's just throw in. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Go. Alright. Finish. Alright. Go in first. Alright. Yeah. Um. Kick, 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 Here. The extra. Read all about it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Both the rise hard gun, huh? Okay, that's rough. Oof. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go here. And let's go normal. And there we go. Grab this. And we'll grab this. Alright, and we'll grab... Oof. Oh, that's rough. Uh, all right. <laughs> Change. Doom virus dragon. <laughs> Loop of destruction. Here he is. <laughs> all right. And revival reps. Main of what? At the, oh. <laughs> Probably a bit of this stuff. Don't know if you guys saw that or not. <laughs> Got some potential financial information there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um. The like lightning storm on a unicorn. Oh, on birth. That's funny.
Oh, apparently that this was in there. <laughs> hmm. oh. And hang this up over there. Right. Uh. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> the. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, welcome in, KCS. Good to see you. Um, glad to have you here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Boy, what do I do with this hand? You know, I just don't know. Maybe I'll start with this. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, you take this uh, thing. And... Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, no, I messed that up. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> But all right, they get the moth. We get the gamma seal. Oops. All good, chat. All good. So let's grab a ba bomb birth here. All right, birth to grab unicorn. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hope your day's going pretty well there, KCS. Uh, we're just yeah, you know, we're just doing what we do here. Um. I guess since I accidentally picked the wrong target, hmm, we'll have to go with this. Hmm, sack? Yeah, we'll have to go, we'll have to start sacking the quarterback here. Um, so let's grab Theosis. And with Unicorn, let's, uh, I just hit level, so ooh, hey, hey. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you, that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, I feel you, man. I feel you for real. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. Mm, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> like, for real. Uh, by the way, would you like a viewer duel a little later? If so, just uh, holla at your boy. Let me know. Um... I guess Ogre does clear here. Did I already summon? I don't think so. Uh, so we'll take Ogre. It's all. This is the game with Big Eye, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So we use Birth. All right. With this, we can grab Rep Rationis. Um. Oh, <laughs> hey, nice Swartz Child. Be a shame if something happened to it. Magic Kado Shisa Sose. Video. What's child the dragon? Now Draco's hit can't attack this turn, right? Right, but I don't I don't need Draco's hit to attack. So we overlay these two Delta units. To summon the flying fortress himself. Evil McPhantom Beast Draco Sack. All right, let's get Saki. All right, so I'll detach uh, tokens. Let's detach Unicorn. Meow. To grab a Mecha Phantom Beast token. And to grab a Mecha Phantom Beast token. All right, and then I will use the effect. Destroy a card on the field. Boop. And boop. Say goodbye to Exodia. The most American card ever. Yeah, let's play around Gores. All right, Donzi, and let's go here. <laughs> Gamma Seal, direct attack. Still playing around Gores. All right. <laughs> there is, um, not Gores, but Maha Ama, the fairy dragon. So, not too bad, gaining the life points. So, they will hang on here, um, but we will ogre. All right, so let's uh, look at five. Hmm, Lava Golem, that's cute. Now they can hang on to that. I don't care. Uh, dimension wall. Yeah. Uh, let's just get rid of this. This is probably the best out of those five. Yeah. 
So there we go. All right. <laughs> Main two, let's set prep for rationians. And then turn. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. The most. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> all right. Man, look at all these Roid cards we're playing. Good thing I good thing I made a Roid deck, right? Right, KCS? Look at all the Roids. <laughs> yeah, see, look. I'm playing so many Roid cards right now. Look look at this. Look at all the Roid cards. <laughs> see, 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 look. It's true, KCS. I'm totally playing Roids. Look. If you, I got a replay. Uh, sure, yeah, sure, Casey. Yes, uh, leave your um, ID number or whatever it is, and the uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, leave it down or and like tell me. Oh, it's replay one, replay two, etc. There's lava golem, and here comes another lava golem. Sweet. Now I can overlay for a super level eight. Not too bad, Donzai. Not too bad. In phase, so we do take 2k burn. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> All right, <laughs> unicorn off the top. Um, sure, with this, let's grab um, end them with their own golems. Yeah, that's uh, sounds pretty good. We'll take cash. I kind of want to see what's in their extra deck, though. Uh, yeah, 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 that's true, Casey, yes, because we didn't really get to see their strategy. I'm guessing it's Galaxy Eyes, but um, yeah, let's just take a peek in the extra because we're going to win anyway. So yeah, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek with um, Unicorn. So let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, we're already here. So um, yeah, activate Unicorn. Um, it is. Ooh, it's New Murano TK. Okay. I see. I see now. Yeah. Oh, and I'm a... Ooh, access code. That's cute. All right. Say goodbye to Exodia. There we go. And go. Hideo. Uh, Joe no Chifaya. <laughs> there we go. All right. We did it, guys. We did it. I remember in the anime when uh, Merrick's like, my, my lava golem's attack is the mighty Emmett's volcano. Joey's like, yeah, it's my monster. I'll name its attack. Go, Joey Superfire. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> like, that was so funny. Alrighty, replay time. <laughs> and with that, we have completed all the missions we need to. We have won 20 duels. That is our last reward. Uh, 247-964-925. Okay. All right, I got you, KCS. And we are done <laughs> with the duelist cup. All right, let's do it here. Um, um, add right here. I'm just going to go to chat and copy what KCS just typed right there. Save me a little legwork. Control C. Minimize. Control V. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be honest, KCS. I don't know if we, I have time. You know, obviously, I recommend it to anybody who, yeah, is dueling the Duelist Cup. And number one, I'm not sure I have time. And number two, yeah, kind of like what you were saying earlier. Like, is it really worth it? Is it worth it? Can we, you know, flip down, flip it and reverse it? I want to play a little prediction princess. Yeah, yeah. If it's a pot of forbidden, let me search it, you know. Anyway, uh, this is KCS. And uh, you don't need rank until 50. Yeah, that, that's going to take at least... Ugh, to get to 15, KCS is going to take at least three more streams. Not sure I have enough gas for that. I kind of need a break <laughs> from uh, Master Duel in general. But uh, and we'll see. <laughs> All right, replay time. Two turns. Cool. All right, let's check this out. And KCS, did, I don't know if you said what, what it is, but I mean, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We're about to find out, so. Uh, was this in Duelist Cup? I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like Duelist Cup. The opponent comboed the F off. Oh, okay. Interesting deck here. So, KCS has Vessel for Dragon. Oh, like a little worm engine. Okay. 
Hmm, with 10 years? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go here. Um, oh, is it a... Wait, 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 wait. Mirror match? All right. I'm down. Going into Monk of the Tenyi. Bushida will special summon herself. Adhara will do Adhara things. And then they will go into a Link... Uh, Synchro Shaman, Shiak Show, uh, get to draw a card, Moye, Moye, Mo Combo. Uh, let's see, they go for that, and they get to add that, and then they're gonna activate this card, and then they're gonna activate Strategist, and then they're gonna activate the token, and then they're gonna go into <gasps> Chiangong, and then they're going to do the burn, then they're gonna summon a Moye, then they're gonna add a uh, Merchant, then they're gonna grab a token, then they're gonna go into Draco Berserk. Uh, 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 the... <laughs> okay, first of all, first, first of all, great turn for our opponent. But if you're going to go pro Protoss, Declare Dark, why even go into Draco Berserker? Right? Sword Souls have other level 8s. Let's play those instead. And leave ourselves with one more negate or whatever. Also, he might have been Tenyi locked. I don't think he was. Because he brought out this card. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why you call, call Dark there. But alright. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. So KCS is going to draw a card. It is Vashuda. They wanted the draw. I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lightning Storm. And then we go into that. And then this card. Mapura. Hey, Pro Kabiak. What's up? Welcome into the stream here. Um, we're doing a little. Oh, right. He has Wormlock. Right, right, right. We're doing a little replay here from KCS. Pretty cool replay. Uh, unfortunately, they are Protoss locked. Or warm locked. Uh, we'll grab um yeah shaman. So yeah, good to ooh here we go. Okay. So this is mare mare. Let's just read this card for people who don't know. Ah, uh, special summon. Except by the effect of a worm monster during your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by one. And if you do, special summon one mini mare token. Mare mare token. Worm water level one. Three hundred attack. Two hundred defense. You can only use this effect. Up to thrice per turn. Get third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Yes, I'm talking to you with the cap. All right. Anyway, <coughs> mirror mirror combos. All right, sweet. And this is basically just linkmaterial.exe. All right, let's go. Uh, yep. <laughs> nice. And this is teeny spirit. I've never seen this card. Sash Saha Saha Shra Ah, I get it. Man, Konami loves their word salads. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Moving on. Uh, banishing for... Uh, show, no. Right, Vashuda can bounce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Nice dueling there by KCS, and ultimately... Mare Mare is the best bear, and we love Mare Mare. Definitely, like, one of the best, you know, blood cards in the game. <laughs> that was awesome. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, man, I bet they wish they kept that uh, uh, Draco Berserker. <laughs> nice replay there, Casius. Oh, man. <clears throat> Alrighty. <laughs> that being said, I should probably... Um, I said something about viewer duels. <laughs> yeah, like that was just, I mean, honestly, KCS, if I had to rate, rate that replay, um, 15 out of 10. That was awesome. I mean, you know, it's not too often, and you played in the Duelist Cup too, not too often you run into a mirror match out here. Like the, the, the odds of that statistically, very low. And, yeah, Tenyis do have, you know, both sides of the pendulum. They have the pure Tenyi, and they have the Sword Soul. So, <laughs> kind of nice to see, really. And even though it's not a true mirror match, eh, it's just kind of nice to see engines on both sides, quite frankly. Uh, but, yeah, Mare Mare, pretty clutch. <laughs> so, there you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice replay. Very nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> I say it was for cut. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> heck yeah. All right. Um, okay. Doo -doo. okay. Um, Um, okay, I've done titles, but yeah, we're officially switching to, um, viewer duels here. Um, so yeah, you just want a duel, let holla at your boy and yeah, just let me know. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty funny. Like, yeah, karma for Protoss. <laughs> oh man, it's so crazy that a card like that, um, went so unchecked for so long. So pretty wild. Um, what should I work on for a view? Let's fun strategy. Um, I was working on. Oh right, I could do that. That's actually pretty good as well. Okay, so let me grab. Um, let me grab this strategy. Where is it? Um, right here. Hmm. That's just six Sam's. Um. Right, that's rescue ace. Ooh, we could try to build that. Um. Let's see. I do have a strategy here. Hmm. Let's take a look at this one. Hmm. This looks pretty good. All right. So let's go here. Prohibited. But why? Why is she? Um, let's throw this in. Oh, we already have it in. Okay. Uh huh. I knew there was one I didn't have. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, we are switching to viewer duels. So let's make this a little fair. Not too much ash. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. All oh, right, this is banned. That sucks, man. Man, I love this card when it was legal, but uh. Yeah, it is what it is, you know. All right. Um, what two links should I play instead? <laughs> Why is Decon? <laughs> Why is that in here? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> oh. All right. And there we go. And... Hmm. Um, trying to think. Why is there two of this in here? That seems unnecessary. Okay. Um, what else? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good idea. All right. See you, Code Talker. And let's do this. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, there is the eight that cheats out stuff, right? What's it called? This one, Draglubion. Yeah, that's a nice little side engine. Like, look at all these eights. Obviously, we can't do it under Krista, but um, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, and I do have to remove brain, yeah, I guess, because you can steal your own lava gun. Also, why is this in here? All oh, right, to counter DPE. Okay. <laughs> it's so, it's funny how much hatred I have for that guy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right here. Oh, is Master Duel glitching? 
Ooh, that took a long time to save. You notice that, KCS? That was weird, man. I, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with that. But um, um, best of luck. And uh, yeah, let's just go from there. So, <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so it's us versus Casey. Oh my goodness! Whoa! <laughs> hey, Lee. <laughs> oh man. Um. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh. Welcome in to the uh, boat. Don't worry, you're safe from the flood here. Uh, yeah, I'm your host, Floodmon. For <laughs> hey, Leah, yeah, how's the rest of your stream? Uh, but uh, yeah, you guys <laughs> go give Leah some follow. Wow, Leah, thanks for the awesome raid. Um, yeah, and just just enjoy some a little bit of downtime. Um, on your after your stream, All right? Yeah, and uh, have have a little fun. Uh, yeah, you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're doing viewer duels right now, and we're here with KCS. Um, I have done what's called brick, <laughs> meaning I can't really do much. So, but uh, yeah, great to have all you here. Um, awesome. <laughs> Missing one. <laughs> uh, it was good. I <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see what KCS does from here. Uh, but yeah, if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you want viewer duels, um, is here in chat. So, I will find it. Our room ID is up here somewhere. And yeah, <laughs> we're just going to have a little fun. So, yeah, 437-750. So, there you go. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Gonna lurk and undo. All right, Leah. Yeah, enjoy the downtime. You know, just relax. You've made it to end of the stream and have some fun. Whoa, Power Bomb. That's a good card. All right. So, got the Seeger. Um, there we go. All right. From there, uh, Rampage. So, yeah, this is a Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Let's read this card. A fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion materials. When fused, you can target spells and traps on the field. Up to the number of materials used, destroy them. Then, once per turn, you can send two light machines from your deck. And if you do, <laughs> this card gains an additional attack during each battle phase this turn. Alright, meaning this card can do quite a bit of stuff here. <laughs> Alright, but uh, yeah... How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, we're just going to chill. So, all right. Realm. And there goes the Rampage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice, KCS. <laughs> Go for the Seeker boost. That's smart. <laughs> all right. GG, my friend. <laughs> well done. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely a bad call by me. <laughs> You know, I had a feeling, I was like, man, maybe I should go uh, second myself. But uh, honestly, that was pretty clean, Casey. Uh, did you want to go for best two out of three or uh, just just one and one, one and out? <laughs> Either way is cool by me, KCS. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, cyber, yeah, cyber dragons are like really fun because, um, I mean, the doubling from Power Bond. It's it's just it's just good and it's fun, you know. <laughs> um also Cyber Dragons have let me show you guys this card. If you guys uh are unfamiliar with Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. Uh so Cyber Dragons have this card. Cyber Dragon that I'm going to put in here. It is yeah, Mega Fleet. So basically if they have like a Link 4, that's pretty good. Like let's say they have Appaloosa. You know what I mean, KCS? You can just go Cyber Dragon, yoink, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, you clear the problem, you know, so. Because most most turn one boards will have one card in the EMZ, and <laughs> you just kind of clear it. And then also, yeah, you can go into Infinity if it's your first turn. So it's, it's pretty good. And then after that, um, Infinity is like negates and stuff. Um, but yeah, like power bond is just really good. And also <laughs> I'm pretty sure this card is allowed to, so, and most cyber dragon players will run this to double attack. So 
great stuff really <laughs> all right um i guess if anyone likes a viewer duel let me know uh there is an event right now, so it's called uh yeah the duelist cup it's over here and and yeah, just play a few duels and we'll go from there um yeah <laughs> let's just go <laughs> Uh, there are a few more gems, uh, yeah, for that you can uh, win here. So yeah, if you're gonna, if you've never played Yu-Gi-Oh before, now's a good a good time, honestly. Uh, just there's just a lot of free gems and like gems in this game buy you packs of cards. So uh, yeah, the Duelist Cup is still available. Uh, KCS, I think it's for like two more days, right? Pretty sure. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, I had. 18.9k <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's true because uh kcs you didn't even use all your attacks no. <laughs> oh man <laughs> all right <clears throat> let's see here let's play <laughs> machina fortunes all right so i'll discard machina and discard uh mixer roid <laughs> uh i guess we'll put this in attack and hmm this could be really bad for us not too much else we can do but maybe called by will slow him down enough and we'll pass all right <laughs> all right here we go what you got there Ren? um scapegoat emote <laughs> that's funny oh man there's just some really cool stuff here in master duel yeah one day ish for the yeah so yeah, you got more or less 36 hours, which yeah, it's doable. Birth pass. Nani. Okay. Um, that's a card. Okay, KCS. Whenever someone does a suspicious turn like this, right? You know what I mean, dog? Like, here's what I suspect. Okay, from left to right, right? From this side to... Okay. Ash. Max C. Because we didn't special summon that much. Um, extra ash, imperm, like maybe droll and lockbird. <laughs> They're bricking on hand traps. They have to be. They have to be bricking on hand. Ah ha ha ah ha. Okay. Hmm. You can't fool my millennium eye. I knew you'd play Ash Ketchum and Joyous Misty Spring. That's why I set the finger. Now you will be banished to the Nether Realm, and I'll be able to add whatever card I want. Say goodbye to Exodia. Now then, I will take this card for my deck. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I knew they had to have something that was just, you know, brickalicious. All right, Ren. <laughs> so we grab Cyber Emergency. And from Cyber Emergency, we will grab... Uh, right, this needs a monster. So I think the ad here is Sydra. Can't really do much from there. But... I'm guessing this is another hand trap. So let's attack Max C. <laughs> like, what, what is this, man? Ah! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like KCS, I was spot on with that, wasn't I? <laughs> you know, because, okay, that's two, that's two Ash down. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's calm down. Let's, let's reel it in. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Royal Birth. That's nice. Oh, field spill. Okay, now we lose. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. And they get the Finn Rear, so should be over from here. But uh, eh, not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is, like, I, I could tell they bricked, bro. He's just like... like yeah, birth pass. What? <laughs> like, well, and this card's best effect. Like, if you bricked, why would you even play this card? It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Like, not really. No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of weird, you know. <laughs> but um, hey, it is what it is, you know. All right. So from here, they will add the osis, and should be over here pretty quick. Because they got Unicorn. Finn Rear can destroy some stuff. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. The good part is, is if they leave Shangri-Ra in the EMZ, we can uh, 
do kind of what I was talking about. Don't I have Mega Fleet? I do. Good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's so weird, though, uh, just seeing Kashtira Brick. Uh, and these are all the new cards, by the way. So Finrear lets you grab more stuff. Uh, the design of these cards for anybody who... And I, the only reason I say this is because, like, Lee is sent in the raid. <laughs> and so there may be a bunch of you who... Okay, maybe you like Yu-Gi-Oh! But you haven't seen, like, the new cards. And that's fair. Um, but basically what these cards are designed to do is... Banish all your stuff, and, um, yeah, it's just like, okay, you're going to have your stuff banished, and there's not a thing you can do about it. The best thing we can do here is get rid of Theosis, um, but, uh, yeah. Um, also, the, their, um, Exceeds monster, their boss monster, is designed to lock your zones. So, um, there's actually a combo that was legal. I think uh, KCS might know, but it was legal for like the world championship <laughs> and it was really bad. That championship had awful ratings, man, because what happened is the guy locked nine zones. Like they basically locked this zone, this zone, this and to where the other player couldn't even make it interesting. Or, and yeah, so eventually, of course, these cards were all way too good and got banned. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the playstyle, is this card, Shangri-Ira. So, there you go. During your standby, special summon a cash. And then, uh, yeah. You choose an unused monster or spell trap zone. Can't be used. Pretty crazy, really. So, all right. Oh, that's good for us, honestly. All right, well. All right, cash money. <laughs> all right, two face downs, too. So... Um, our only goal here at this point, not really to win, it's to slow them down. <laughs> so, all right. Although, hmm, core, um, let's do this first. All right, so I will give a kaiju. <laughs> See ya, Shangri-Ira. There we go. Cyber Dragon, Pokshishoken. And then, all right, I can't core because I got a monster. Let's bluff. <laughs> Let's bluff Mirror Force Pro Strats. <laughs> all right. And we'll end the turn. All right. Main phase. They can probably get, um, yeah, yeah. I was getting ready to say, <laughs> I was getting ready to say. I, I assume they'll take Finn Rear because that—that's what I would do if it was me. So, um, mm -hmm. all right. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Two sevens, right? Back in the era. That is the main play, Rhino Heart. What I am curious about for Ren, um, the nice thing about these cards is they can really be played in anything. So, <laughs> what I'm kind of wondering is if this deck has a little wrinkle, a little wiggle, or if it's just pure cash. Because, uh, yeah, all of these are sevens. So, like, <laughs> we've seen uh, this stream this week. We've seen, like, Dark Magician Cash. I'm even doing the kind of a unique wrinkle. Because we're playing, like, Machina Fortress Cash. <laughs> because, yeah, Machina happens to be a level seven. So, <laughs> you can go into this, which is two sevens. Um, and what's interesting is, like, it seems like everyone and how they work. Um, I feel like there's one or two just kind of combos that are available in master duel that weren't available in the tcg so like for those of you who also don't know uh yugioh has a, like a way different band list than um than uh than the tcg than the main like card game and what that actually opens up like new opportunities for just like crazy stuff to happen <laughs> so 
Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. So, um, I feel like there's a Cashatera combo out there that you know, especially like all the cards I I can think of that are sevens. That yeah, no one's really you know tried out yet. But uh, I'm glad I thought of the Machina Fortress one because <laughs> I, I I just like the structure that came back out in. Uh, 2009 <laughs> and i always have liked the cards so all right best of luck to our opponent seven card extra hmm that's uh okay that's a little suspicious hmm 49 card deck okay 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 um let's see hmm let's go with metal cruncher see if they have ash Oh, someone's knocking at my door, too. Oh, you are uh, off to work? All right, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. See you there. <laughs> All right, we go into Metal Cruncher. Um... Hmm. Seven card extra. That is, uh, that's odd. <laughs> Let's grab, hmm. I'm thinking we grab Machina, Gear Frame, and Express Roid. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Which one will they give to us? Quite frankly, we can use any of them. So let's see here. Nice. <laughs> All right, and from there, we'll pass. Hmm, seven card extra. Hmm, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Stand by. Hmm, seven card extra. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. That's usually a good sign. Set three. Hmm. So, guys, here's what my instincts are telling me, right? <laughs> Every event, there's always a deck whose goal <laughs> is to play the following cards. Magic Cylinder. <laughs> and basically any burn card. Dimension Wall. Right? <laughs> Like, um, some of you, like, old-school Yu-Gi-Oh! players will know what I'm talking about, especially if you're watching the VOD. And I just have the sense, the sixth sense, that this is just a minefield back here. Basically, their deck's not going to work until we declare an attack. So here's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Machina. There is a way we can play around this. So let's get rid of... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Banish all spells and traps. Hmm. Cancel. Cancel. Let's just set good old Mixeroid in the turn. All right. On to you, Hatman. Hmm. Is Armoroid going to win us a game? Doubtful. But we'll at least get a plus two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Hmm. Her hire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that does tell me a little something. Battle phase. Hmm. Interesting. Main two in phase. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. It's time to summon the ultimate Gundam. All right, here we go. Autobots, engage the enemy. Go, Sam. Protect the cube. <laughs> Armor Roid, front and center. All right. And we did tribute at least one Roid. So, right? This is a Roid card, yeah? Uh, what? Banish all spells and traps. Oh! <laughs> 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 okay, okay. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So one of the cards was Solemn Judgment. All right. All right. <laughs> Honestly, that clip alone was worth it. Bro, you're going to pay half your life points for that? That's the most value this card has ever gotten. <laughs> this card got four grand points out of you, bro. I don't care what happens. <laughs> okay. Infinite and permanence. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, good. And let me guess. Magic Cylinder for the end here, right? Uh, no, nothing. Okay. <laughs> that was that was hilarious, bro. Okay. Well, that was fun. And now, let's see here. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, fur hires do have some resiliency. So, uh, Mayhem. We'll let them get back into the special summon zone. So, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. They also have some link monsters that... Wait, wait, wait. Seven cards in the extra. Did Fur Hire... Has there been a starter deck for Fur Hire? If so, that makes a lot of sense. Um, also, mm, they could just not have all the craft material. Because typically, Fur Hires will play, um, you know, a full 15. Because uh, the Link 3 is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So, interesting. Um, this is like the main uh, boss. Uh, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> I always like the artwork on this one, though. On uh, Raphael Raphael Champion. All right. And yeah, they are, they are pretty consistent. So... Yep, whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, you can discard a card as long as it's a fur hire. And that's kind of what um, some of the sprite jet. Uh, okay. <laughs> so they'll go into sprite elf here, which is pretty obvious. So, all right. So, yeah, clearly their first two. They so, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. I must say, I wasn't expecting sprite out of a seven card extra. Nor fur hire for them. You know. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. They've got some potential here. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, like, I would consider this duel a win. <laughs> I mean, the fact that this card... <laughs> and they had three face downs, too. The fact that this fetched even one uh, Solemn Judgment. <laughs> That's going to make a funny highlight for YouTube, bro. Like, once I port this stream over, like, dude. Uh, what should I title it? Oh, yeah. The most value ever from Armoroid. That, that honestly, that, that sounds like a good, you know, YouTube, like, clickbait title. <laughs> Armoroid has never been this valuable. <laughs> like, I realize they're probably going to win, but I don't care. The fact that you had to burn, like, 4K on that. <laughs> Like, that's awesome, bro. All right, so Gigantic Sprite should grab, like, Carrot or, uh, yeah, Donpa. Donpa's is too, so. Yeah, they should be able to keep going. Wait, don't for hires have a United We Stand? Okay. <laughs> okay, bro. Whoa, what is that, sir? Because, like, what? I can't brag on it too much. Because, like, we're doing, like, a self, uh, you know, kind of handicap challenge. Maybe this guy's doing it too. Okay, so you can target a card, destroy it. Um... This card's immune, right? Um, let's see here. It is not immune, is it? Or is it? Influence on Sprite. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so it's actually not immune. They just saved a Donpa, which is smart. So, and it looks like that's what this had to <laughs> born card. And yeah, this was their starting hand. Judge, Imperm, this, and two Donpa. So, honestly, we played this about as best as we could. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, by the way, this card is from uh, 2001. <laughs> hey, bro, I ain't Hayden. I mean, I'm over here playing this from 2006. So, <laughs> all right, let's go into Unicorn and just try to do the best we can here. All right, so Unicorn will grab... Uh, Oh, it'll be negated. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and they did brick. Yeah, so they kind of bricked. 
like their first six because they drew for turn two. Yeah, so their first six were definitely Ash because that's my first search. Ash, two Donpa <laughs> or more, <laughs> and then the Judgment and stuff. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the rest of their extra if they'll let us because, wow. So that's their deck is just one sprite, the Zeus. Yeah, okay, you don't. We're gonna set the play, but they don't even have the link three, so they're either doing some kind of challenge or, you know, it is rough out here though for the craft material. And honestly, I don't blame you. You know, uh, let's just go out with a bang here. Move on to the next duel, and yeah. Honestly, I was just really curious. <laughs> it's just like, dude, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> Running uh, only seven and for higher. But hey, to be fair, they won. So, yep, any deck can win. Any card can win. So, and I would say United with Sin, definitely clutch there. So, all right. Um, I guess I should show my deck too. By the way, this is the deck we're playing. So, obviously, full cash Shatira is way too powerful. <laughs> so, I've thrown in some handicaps for myself. I call them Roids. So, there's Gyroid. Uh, Drillroid. Express Roid. <laughs> yeah, uh, these cards all are... But it's okay, because some people will literally just see one of these, and they'll run away. They'll scoop. So, all right. That was probably the most interesting, yeah, fur hire. That was... Uh, I wouldn't expect him to duel that today. But anyway, I'm going to sleeve some cards here. <laughs> All right. And we will go uh, first. So. All right. Best of luck to our opponent, Min Shuhaha. <laughs> All right. Machina Fortress. Let's, um, <laughs> yeah. Let's do one of my favorite bluffs. So you know how we went first? Sometimes if you end with an empty board, build myself. So let's let bluff that first. Yes. Hmm, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Uh so that'll let them set welcome. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> All right, and we'll go from there. Dog. Ooh, I had zero here. All right. We'll just kind of sleeve these up. Um, yeah, so Welcome Labyrinth. I imagine they'll take... Um, well, let's just see what they grab. Because honestly, Ariadne may be the pick if they uh, need it to be so. So there we go. And there we go. All done with that. And I'm going to grab some chips. But yeah, yeah, uh wait Tim. Uh uh try to you know, my editor. Let's uh let's try to make sure we do something um hey uh, um remind them tomorrow to a uh, little meeting with you because that, honestly that's like really helpful. So <laughs> yeah, because we're pretty new here. And that's that's just very nice of her. Uh let's see, we got lovely lady. And yeah, for those of you who did stick around, watch a few games here and there. Hey man, I, I appreciate it, you know. Uh, clearly, <laughs> like, I, I just, I like Yu-Gi-Oh, man, and I like playing it. It's just fun. Um, yeah, you know, and like, some people have heard of this game for all kinds of reasons, right? Maybe like, or someone who watched anime, or like, heard of a card, or like, seen a card, or, yeah, like, there's all kinds of reasons why people get into Yu-Gi-Oh. One thing I can tell you, chat, is my story, because, you know, it's, Pretty obvious that I, you know, kind of a uh, pretty obvious that I somehow at some point got into cards. So my story, it's it's a it's a pretty common one. So yeah, back in you know uh, 1999, you guys will learn about this in your ancient Egyptian you know technology class. 
we had these things called VCRs and video cassette recorder, right? And what you could do with those is buy movies. And um, yeah, one of the first movies or a VHS tape, a video home screening, I think. Anyway, one of the first like, soon after, <laughs> she bought me the first five sets of the game, which is just, she's awesome. She's awesome. Uh, she lives with me right now. Um, and yeah, her name's Elizabeth. And yeah, she's just awesome. So yeah, she just bought me um, Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raider. Yeah, the first five sets. And there's nine cards in every pack. So right away, I had 45 cards plus the one extra that was in the VHS. And then from there, yeah, you know, you just kind of was high or whatever. And yeah, you just go from there. <laughs> You know, obviously, you kind of teach yourself how to play. Uh, <laughs> and I could talk about that as well. But, yeah, she's the one who got me into Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sure, like, if you got Yu-Gi-Oh, you have a store. I mean, that helps. Uh, it, yeah, and, which I'm doing on my channel right now. Did those. Really. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that, yeah, I taught myself how to play the game. But, you know, like... Uh, no one really knew what in the world to do. Because, <laughs> like, even the dual anime for Duelist Kingdom were just, like, old and weird. And, like, just really strange. But, um, <laughs> they didn't follow the rules there either. So, oh uh, yeah, if you are here, I guess that's my question. How did you get into Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you into Yu-Gi-Oh at all? Because there's a possibility you're not. And then, finally... That's a common question. What's your favorite anime? <laughs> so those are all good questions. Um, but yeah, recess format. <laughs> recess format, as we call it. We had this one kid. Pretty pretty interesting story, I can tell. And you don't have to understand Yu-Gi-Oh! to understand the story. There's this one card in Yu-Gi-Oh! called Exchange. What it does is lets you trade cards in your hand with your opponent. So this guy, we called him the rare hunter of the group, which basically means thief. And we got a little sick of this guy, you know, being in the group. This was like in, this was like in ninth grade. And what he would do is basically just play a bunch of cards that didn't really have too much value. Like there would be one good card or whatever. And, but here's the thing. During recess format, you know, when the bell rings, obviously everyone just kind of really double check that we everyone's just worried about getting in trouble or whatever. The teachers were pretty strict. Back this, this guy was making 500 IQ plays before they were a thing. Because what he would do is he would play three copies of Exchange. And instead of like, obviously, after the duel, after the game's over. You're supposed to give your opponent their card back. No, this guy, <laughs> this jerk, and his name was Dylan. His name was Dylan. I'm not going to say his last name because uh, I do put these VODs on Facebook. And um, people might know who I'm talking about. And I don't want them to just take it too far and get mad at this guy. But, yeah, dude. <laughs> like, he just, uh, he took it too far. And... I think um, when it was all said and done, this guy had stolen, you know, stolen, exchanged, <laughs> like over a thousand cards, you know, and some of those cards from the early sets, you know, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Exodia, first edition. So, you know, eventually this guy, you know, obviously we caught on to him. Uh, his mom kind of moved him away. And that's kind of understand. But the point is, like, this guy made off with some very valuable cards but more importantly he broke the trust of the group and that's that's unforgivable man you can't have that you know <laughs> so after that the school started cracking down because you know fights were started over the thefts which and some of the fights got very intense and dangerous and yeah suspensions and this and that and yeah, after that, people really didn't... Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! had a bad connotation. For a while. Yeah. 
But then a game came out called, uh, well, it started getting more popular in my school, called Magic the Gathering. <laughs> and um, people who weren't very, um, I don't know, <laughs> you know, Magic kind of was a good thing because what it did, <laughs> you know how like these days, right? Um, that's a good comparison, Josh. Yeah, you know how these days, like, people will only play, like, the new game? And that's cool and all. But, like, one of my favorite things to do, as far as new gaming goes, is, like, for example, one of my favorite games, Halo Infinite. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, within day one, you know, and, like, we're on Twitch, so, you know, obviously people are going to play the new stuff, people are going to be into the new stuff, New stuff, new stuff is good, right? Right, right. I think some of you guys are with me. Especially you VOD watchers. So, <laughs> I'm really weird. Because one of the things I like to do is call out. And is, <laughs> is you literally wait for the new game to be unpopular. <laughs> you know, and what's nice about that is like basically some of the bandwagon writers and like people who, because like for example, week one of Halo Infinite, Toxic Cod, just be very And what's the <laughs> You know, they move packs or new, what new, but you know what I mean. There have been so, in fact, there's a Kaiser for Black Friday, which looked pretty good. But what's nice is that, you know, now you can get on comms and just like yeah. um, nice by the way they're gonna declare spell here and we lost our hand <laughs> but this is um the ultimate labyrinth combo they use a uh, eradicator um this gets them like big cards from the deck like this and then um this card can also pop cards in the hand so the main combo for them is to go turn one summon this um and this Nice royal, by the way. Whew. That's sick. And then use um, this, because if you declare spell, spell's the most common type of card in the game. Then you very likely to, uh, you know, to kind of wipe out your opponent's hand. And if nothing else, you at least get to look at their cards. So you know what you're dealing with. Um, but yeah, this is basically Labyrinth. And they got the field spell for turn too, which pretty good. But all these down here, minefield. <laughs> So, what's my suggestion if you go up against this deck? Uh, pray you go first. <laughs> no, no, there is a way to counter this deck. And it's called Jinzo. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Well, yeah, with that, I think I'm, I've kind of touched on a couple topics that I've always told myself to talk about whenever we have a raid or we have, like, new people. That I went over recess format. I asked the favorite anime question. Eventually. I said who I was. And I was just talking about that. And from there, we're good. All right. Mm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Just hit 8 a.m. here. Oh, pretty good. Oh, other question. I like sports, too. So, any of you guys football fans? I am. Who do I think is going to the Super Bowl at this point? Well, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Oh, man, this is some good sleeping weather. Yeah. yeah, it's been raining, like, kind of off and on. Um, and I don't know if Leah's still here, but just a heads up, Leah, and anyone, I guess, close to her state, because you guys are t directly to the east of us. So, uh, yeah, heads up to Leah and, like, anybody who lives near her. So, because uh, I live in uh, Wisconsin. Obviously, I don't say my real state or last name because of uh, doxing. But, uh, yeah, we live in Wisconsin, which is directly 
um, West and people like the, there are even people in my community who are IRL, but you should know, like you guys are, have some nonstop rain headed your way. And cause it's been raining here in, uh, Wisconsin <laughs> for, uh, yeah, six days straight. Going to drift your way. Uh, well, you know, uh, just get ready. I don't know. I guess you could say it's technically flooding here, and it is. Like on the north side of town, yeah, a lot of flooding, like a whole lot. So, um, but, you know, we kind of needed the rain, so that's a good thing. With that being said, I think I will we'll change up the deck a little bit, because <clears throat> I basically got at least a couple highlights I wanted from here. Shame I never resolve supercharge, but let's do it. <laughs> let's just change up the deck a little bit, and we'll take some stuff out. I think the good part is I found out the Machina engine works really well. Uh, let's take out some Broid stuff. <laughs> let's take out the Oil Man, too. Uh, here we go. Cash. And let's play some... Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Let's play some dark and and, and no. keep the gear frame. Don't need mixture either. Don't need this and <laughs> yeah, uh, Armoroid, you've done your job, buddy. Welcome to the clip channel. I'm <laughs> glad to have you aboard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, from there, right? We just need this card. <laughs> cool. There we go. Mm-hmm. And there we go. Okay. And there's Mahad. Yeah, this cat here. So I had no heart. It's a little too good to ignore. Um one extra scare claw. And anything else for dark magicians? Dark magician prep. Yeah, and with that. I think we're good. <laughs> we'll leave like the mini fortress engine and cyber dragon. Because honestly, yeah, Mega Fleet's pretty good. So there we go. Hmm. We can add this card too. All right. There we go. And do we really need end? No. Because we don't have a dragon. Let's see what happens here. Look, guys. We'll go from here. Well, Master Duel, we got cut a little bit of a crowd here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, make yourself a little elbow room. <laughs> and now, uh, I hope your night's going pretty good. Good to see you back, sir. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Guy, sir, is pretty funny, man. He's he's awesome. Uh, turn one for us. Ooh. Hmm. Grand Horn. Uh, we'll play this. Pass. All right. Hmm. All right. And take. Oh. Hmm. Can we all fit in that? <laughs> That's a good question. Um. Wait, how many do we have? 15? Uh, feasibly, we could make it work. So, let me think. Yeah, we could make it work. We've got... Now, standing room. So, I've got four chairs in here. But, yeah, we, we could make it work. We could make it work. <laughs> Reface that. Is this Labyrinth again? Ain't no way, bro. Okay. One thing we will do, in the interest of new content, if, the, if we see one Labyrinth uh, card, we will scoop here. Because four back-to-back -back Labyrinth duels is highly unlikely... Wow, Master Duel, wow. Hey, I mean, <laughs> Dibs on chair number two. That would be this one. <laughs> I just got to clear all the stuff off, sir. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's uh, boy. Well, you know, I am dueling at eight in the morning. I guess we found out when all the Labyrinth players wake up. <laughs> Kamui. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't Kamui the technique used by Kakashi? 
No, it's by Madara. <laughs> yeah, four labs in a row. Yeah, it's like we're a scientist or something. <laughs> mm hmm. All right, it's time for everyone's favorite game. Show me that ash. Oh, oh, oh. all right. No ash. So we'll go to your scoop upon seeing a new card from 2023. Okay, we'll activate unicorn. And we'll grab... Hmm, Theosis. Hmm, yeah. Theosis. Mm-hmm. We will... Theosis. I uh, should probably grab Ogre here. Yeah, that's... Uh... No, Fenrir. Oh. I'm seeing the lines. I'm seeing the lines, sir. The combo lines. All right, then we grab Gare Claw. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Scare Claw at a hand. Nope. We activate Magician Souls. All right, summoning animation time, guys. Um. Oh, wait, did I put the right one? Or no? I might have put summon this card. I think I did, yeah. Um, which is fine. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Special, special, special. Hmm. Cash Tier Scare Claw. Hmm. Honestly, specialing that might have been a good call. So we'll take the Osis out of the GY. Ooh, that's a good card. Now, okay. <laughs> So up against Branded here, huh? Good to know. All right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Your claw, Banish Theosis. All right. So there's that. Oh, right. We can use these effects now. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I love to use my cash cards during your turn, sir. Or ma'am. Whoever you are. Duelist. Opposing duelist. There we go. And let's look at their deck. Hmm. Looks like a branded deck to me, sir. What do you think? <laughs> so, hmm. Which of the... Oh, okay. Okay. Tier elements, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see, Master Duel. I see. Tired of trolling me with that, so you give me... All right. All right, Master Duel, calm down. Put down the troll tablet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go into a flying airship. <laughs> Master Duel just said, oh, you're tired of being trolled, huh? How about I give you some tears? <laughs> okay, so anyway, we'll go into Mecha Phantom Beast. Uh, Draco Sec. Flying on in. Um, what's going on here? There we go. Using its hmm, infinite and permanence or something? Oh, no, okay. Um, yeah, pin rear. Token. <laughs> it's time to air it up. There we go. All right, and it took us a while to get there, but here we go, guys. We're going to summon the mighty monster known as Black Magician. You do. Black Magician. I summon the Dark Magician. Wahaha. <laughs> and now, go. Dark Magic Attack. There we go. And finally, we'll end with Ida. Not too bad of a board, honestly. And I'm not really afraid of anything they're going to do because uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got this card right here, Nibiru. So, alrighty. That looks good to me. On to you, Kamui. Let's see what you've got. For Kamui, I think I'll take a uh, Fenrir. Uh, okay, 50. 50 okay. Uh, let's have a corn in the deck. Let's grab. Hmm. Scareclaw? 
Ah, let's just grab Ogre. Mm. Eh, it's all Ogre now. All right. Let's see what combo we can do. Not too bad here. Hmm, main phase one. Hmm. That, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They've got the evenly matched. Yeah, that's kind of a good card, I hear. So we've got to banish some stuff. So see ya, Draco Sack. Grand Horn. Discard. Oh, and because I have a token. That's so smart. That's so smart. Yep. I have to keep the Draco Sack token. That's really smart. All right. They're on to Bestial Combos now. Yeah. So um, if you are going to play Master Duel, I recommend you craft three of this card. One of the best cards in the game. At the end of the battle... Phase. If your opponent controls more cards than you do, you can make your opponent banish cards. Remember. By the way, and if you only match, it's a really weird ruling. works. Don't ask me how I know. It's my business to know. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a shame too. The one time we go into Draco Sack, it kind of burns us there. No, oh, all good. Um, by the way, this is branded. So, again, I know some of you are here, and maybe you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! But, you know, it is free to play. And if you are going to craft a deck, this is what I recommend. Craft this card. And, yeah, unlock the secret pack. Just have some fun. So, Draco... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Draco, man. <laughs> And there's Fallen of Albaz, so yeah, I recommend you craft that as well, especially if you're a really new player. All right, Ordinal Turn. Hmm. What do we do here? Well, I'll tell you what, boys and girls. I'll tell you what we do. We realize the current reality of the situation, <laughs> and we just head out and out of here. <laughs> Nicely done, Kamui. Yeah, we comboed a little bit there to start, but mm, that evenly was bad. <laughs> that was really bad. Hmm. He the Koji Banks. Um. Huh? All right. Best of luck, Kirko. <laughs> I like this uh, skull. Yeah. Exit stage left. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm working at Brahms, because I'm serving them some ice cream, because I just scooped. <laughs> all right, that looks better. All right, all right. I also recommend you craft this card if you're a new player. Like, seriously. You got to get the maximum C, man. All right, let's grab Ogre. Let's see if they immediately scoop, because it's a new card. No? All right. Do, 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 do. Ash? No. Okay. Preparaciones. This is like the usual combo, by the way. Uh, you do that. You do this. Mm, yeah. Rise heart. Nope. Defense mode. Now, this card can modulate to seven, as long as it's not negated. So, with this, you banish this. All right. Nice. Uh, nope. And then you just eat a very easy combo. And you go from there. Defense mode. Eating stream win. Um, all the time, sir. All the time. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, sir, one thing I will say, I thought about doing a cooking stream. The problem is, <clears throat> the problem is, <laughs> um, man, we really need to clean our kitchen here. And the other problem is, I'm incredibly lazy. Yeah. Use this effect now. Nah. All right, so e -Rush should grab um, something here. I'm guessing I need to grab Unicorn. That seems right. Alrighty. 
Oh, also, I should, uh... Well, that stops that. <laughs> sir. <laughs> and sir, you crack me up, bro. <laughs> he said, laziness is a sign of intelligence. All good. <laughs> yeah, um... I, uh... <laughs> oh, good. Man. It's good to laugh, man. You can't laugh. Make yourself laugh, man. I, I don't. I, I, I don't know, man. I tell you. I tell you what, man. <laughs> Find something that just uh, man, brings a smile to your face. For me, pretty obvious. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Hey, uh, sir, correct me if I'm wrong. This is our first uh, Pendulum Magician matchup, right? Like, uh, you know, for all the streams you've been here? Hmm. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Well, they should go into uh, Electromite and stuff. All right, there is Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's run running uh, cash odd eyes. Hey. <laughs> All right. They just wanted to show us like, oh, hey, uh, remember pendulums? We're running that. No, but sir. Huh. You know, sir, I have a good idea for tomorrow's stream. Hmm. Well, that's uh, odd cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Electing doves. Yeah, yeah. Odd cash. Hmm. That seems odd. Hmm. I wonder if this cash is counterfeit. Ah, the jokes just write themselves, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's odd. Suddenly, I have more cash. I must have gotten a promotion. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's uh. Hmm. Odd Eyes Cash. You know, I was just mentioning about, you know, 20 minutes ago. I'm sure all these engines are here that we're... Wait, let's uh, end the turn here. Let's mention this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really should mention this. So, in chat. So, right now. Um, let's see. The... Thunder is picking moment, so I might lose connection. Uh, if I do, uh, that's in the uh... <laughs> yeah, because uh, it is really um, it says we're fine right now, but. You know, I do have to keep an eye on it. Also, I might drop more frames than usual. <laughs> you know, that's just, you know. Yeah, that's just, you know, whatever. So, anyway, let's activate maximum carnage. Yeah, and then let's... Uh, we'll see, sir. We'll see. Melfi! Hmm. Oh, obedient school. Okay, they're just going to go for it. So, the, yeah, this is one of the best cards in the game. If you control no monsters, special summon three level two or lower beast effect monsters with different names from your deck, but their effects are negated. Also, they're destroyed during the end phase. Yeah, this part doesn't even matter. Their effects being negated. <laughs> the fact that you get three monsters from the deck with one card. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Anyway, they grab Wally, Zerbiak, Pony, and something else. And they go into joyous Melfi. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. I love the uh, artwork on this card. The fact that this has a summoning animation is so hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We got Fortress. Not bad. All right. Yeah. And since we have Fortress, we must have evolved our Pineco. Uh, anyway, let's. Uh... <laughs> okay, Josh. Even I realized that joke was like. <laughs> Let's banish six. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. And let's go for two. Nice, nice. This card's actually very good in this matchup. Activate Clockwork Knight. So, some Melfi cards do need their cards to be beasts. So, that's pretty interesting. This will make everything a machine. And we'll go from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, sir. No regrets. All right. So, all right. Uh, right. Okay. And they can destroy some cards. There they go. All right. Destroying called by. Okay. And there goes the clockwork. Now, here's where we put the work in. Hmm. Add an earth machine. Hmm. Let's just use this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even sure this is the right move. This is the first time we've drawn clockwork. Oh, we can reborn. Hmm. Okay. And let's... Hmm, I think we've got this, but first, I need to bait some stuff. So, let's get Fenrir out here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fenrir. Alright. We need to bait. Okay. Then you can add some beasts. So. Hmm. There's the judgment. Okay. One problem solved. All right. One problem solved. Now we can go into Ogre because we don't have any monsters. Response. Right. Okay, okay. This is more of what I expected. So, Wally grabs Puppy. That's the usual combo line. <laughs> by the way, all these cards are very cute, by the way. If you're into, like, a cute archetype, <laughs> Melfi's probably right up your alley. Also, this card is very good. Okay, so there goes the puppy. And then there goes the caddy. Okay, and we definitely want to banish some engine pieces here. Hmm, Finny. Okay. Hmm. Rescue cat. Oh, man. Um. Yeah, the cat's got to go, man. The cat's out of the bag. Okay, so we ogre to bait Ash. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's that. Hmm, everything seems clear now, so I think now I'll go into Fortress. Um, hmm. Hmm, I'm just thinking about some of the target. Hmm, okay. So we go into Fortress by discarding um, probably Metal I might just uh, time out here. If I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> we tried, chat. We tried. Okay, so Fortress. Okay, so there goes Caddy. So they can add a beast. So this is all kind of normal, by the way. This is what Melfi's are designed to do. Kind of, um, you saw how first turn they basically summoned a bunch of monsters in one turn. Then they went into the... Synchro, the Synchro is supposed to tag out, and you just snowball from there. Um, all right, we have to... Well, actually, we don't have to try for it, do we? Mm, no, let's try for it. Let's try for it, because... I didn't see... Mm, yeah, this would help quite a bit if we got rid of that. All right, Fenrir. Magic Kado. Chisasose. All right. Hmm. After all this, Josh, do you really think they have the one of Mirror Force? Okay, so they get one from the deck. And that is the pop. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, Vin Rear. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we need to start banishing... Hmm. This, yeah. Well, not this. These, actually. Hmm. Because what they're trying to do is have a recurring engine where they destroy stuff. I think I figured it out. And then, 
<laughs> Sealing Ceremony of Mokuton? Wow, that is uh, quite the unique counter. I like it. I like it. I've always thought this is a really underrated card. And when Tier Elements were rocking the meta, I just kind of thought about this card. And I was like, huh. You know, Adam Mantipators could run this card quite easily. And yeah, no one would really bet an eye. Okay, so with that being done, everything should be clear. So, pretty interesting. Um, right, we want these in the grave. Okay. And main two, Ida. You know, pretty straightforward there. <laughs> yeah, this card is really interesting. Okay, so there goes the penny. And then they can synchro summon. So, hmm, from the hand. So once again, Melfi's. Hmm, smart. Yeah, smart move to get rid of Ogre there. Unfortunately for them... Hmm. Well, I guess, no, they did pick the right targets, too. Mm, I'll be quite honest. I'm not sure. Nice Royal, by the way. <laughs> I'm not sure really any way we played that would have changed the result. Uh, yeah, yeah, because this uh, target returns to hand, right? Yeah, because, see, that's what I was thinking. I knew Melfi's have this card. And I was just like, well, dude, even if I uh, go into this to try to Zeus, they can just bounce it. So... Because that's what Melfi's are supposed to do. So yeah, really, I don't know that anything we would have done would have changed things here. But, yeah, sometimes that's the way it goes, you know. It's just uh, card versus card, and you ain't got the right card. Well, tough luck. <laughs> you know, on to the next one. Uh, let's just play this anyway. Hmm. This is definitely the most like unique matchup we've had. Well, actually... Now, I'd say the fur higher, that was the highlight of the stream right there. The most unique matchup so far, because, <laughs> like, uh, I mean, like, this right here, you're grabbing two from the deck, like, yeah, <laughs> different names. You're basically, you know, tagging them out, recycling them, going into Mary. Yeah, it's, it's just a good deck, man, you know. <laughs> and I guess they did get lucky. Um, this is probably a, sometimes you don't always draw it. You know, and they drew that, like, first turn. So, that's pretty lucky. That's pretty lucky. So, All right. And this is uh, Alpha, by the way. Another bouncer. So, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why they didn't do this main phase one, by the way. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Caddy. Right. <clears throat> and they still got Puppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew they did. So there's Puppy. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. From here, I don't really think we want to do anything. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh man, it's a good feeling, man. I I just had a feeling we'd draw that one. Um, let's set this, and I guess we do this. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling we'd draw a Grand Horn there. Um, the other thing you might have noticed about Melfi's, look at our life points. Yeah, they don't really put out a lot of damage, you know. The the stats are like, you know, 200, 200. Uh, even these, you know, the extra deck cards, 1,500, 2,000. No, no, no. The point's not to put out damage and, you know, one turn kill you. No, the point is <laughs> you just basically have more cards. You have cards at all times, um, which is good. All right. Let's see here. We should get bounced here, right? Yeah, well... Hmm. Maybe. Let's just see what they do here. Because, yeah, I know this should uh, get back stuff from the grave. So I would expect... Um, Caddy? 
Oh, wait, it's not in the... Oh, right, they can pop. Right, 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 right. And then... Oh, wait, does it have to be Melfi? I guess it does. Or someone did some... Do some Hmm. Hmm. Well done. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, already. I see the main combo of the deck, though. Like, like, uh, yeah, that's why I banished one of these, because the main combo is not necessarily to, to, uh, put up a bunch of attack points and win. They basically want to just reuse and recycle this, like, 20 times. <laughs> but, like, sometimes the problem is your opponent will quickly figure out to just leave this on the field. But that's why they're playing uh, Mukutan, is because, yeah, you contribute it, get it into the grave. And then some of your Melfi effects that revive beasts can bring this back out of the grave. So honestly, pretty smart. But um, overall, the, uh, the key to this um, engine that they happen to be running is, yeah, you just banish um, these as soon as possible. <laughs> and in fact, like normally, you'd use called by... No, 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 this card. Because then they came for yeah, two whole turns. So, pretty interesting strat, but I think we figured it out. <clears throat> They're just going into Frigit for some damage here. And yeah, that should be Shirai. So, free banish. And that's uh, it for prep, which that card wouldn't do anything anyway. So, All right. We figured it out, man. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. I always forget that Shirai can use beasts. Just because uh, Lyralisk is, is the main pilot of this deck. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's so funny that this is basically the, the boss monster for Raider and, uh, and Lyralisk, but not um, in its own arc. It's really funny. I guess Frigid is a beast. Huh. I don't even think of her as a beast either, because she looks like a warrior. I mean, look at that. This, this is a warrior with a gun. <laughs> so, I guess technically though, she's a monster. She's a she's a she's a she's a she's a beast beast. Wah, wah, wah. I'm a monster. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a monster. This should get popped right away. By the way, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's convenient. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll add a card. Why not? I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. But uh, <clears throat> um. I guess I'll combo, sure. Every <laughs> card you grab, Salvation, grab Esol from the deck. Just kind of go from there. If nothing else, I got to show you guys. This is basically the full card. Yep. That's the main thing. The, the problem is, um, it more drop, but I am. Yeah. Yeah. I might as well flip speak up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 All right. Shirai, my friends, too, who play Yu-Gi-Oh! A lot of people think that uh, this card only has its banish effect when itself was special summoned, but no, 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 no. Shirai can actually banish stuff whenever you summon any tribe brigade type. <laughs> it's just a lot of people think <laughs> that it's only for itself because it itself is a beast. So <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, what do we do now? I guess let's check over here. You know what? Maybe I'll buy some packs and well, this weather sounding pretty bad. It's like lightning kind of hard. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I should, uh... Hmm. First of all, let me close the window. But, uh... Second of all... Why's that back light on? I don't know. All right.
Yeah, honestly, this looks pretty interesting outside. And you know what? I did pay like two grand for this laptop. <laughs> and we have had have weird things happen around here. And I would hate for like, <laughs> you know, just a strike of lightning to a, uh, hmm, let's open some packs to end stream. And then we'll call it good. Hmm. Yeah, let's just open like a few of these and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to, ooh, that sounded, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. It sounded intense. <laughs> But, um, oh, I can look for someone to raid while we do this. All right. Ooh, ten, Twin Saw. What we got? Cash Chira. That is limited to one, so not bad. Plus, we got some more material. All right. There we go. And let's do this. Let's see if I can find someone to... Hmm. Oh, that guy's online. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll send you guys over there. <clears throat> No, let's uh, click Master Duel here. Although, you know, Leah raided me from just chatting, so I think at this point, <laughs> I probably will send you guys over there. So today, uh, or here in a few seconds, we're going to raid uh, Clovis Senpai. Uh, this guy's <clears throat> well-respected in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, so let's be nice. And he's also really well-known uh, for playing a very fringe... <clears throat> You know, not so heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Yeah, so let's do that. And Ultra. Oh. That's a good card. Okay, we'll take that. <clears throat> Terror Ultra. All right. Nice. <laughs> All right. And I do wanna <clears throat> I do wanna build Prediction Princess, so definitely glad that I got that one. Another man. <laughs> I'm never lucky like this when uh, Leah doesn't raid me. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Another terror. <laughs> wow, that's actually really lucky. Uh, two ultras for me out of mm, four packs. Hey, <laughs> hey, sometimes it's your lucky night. But uh, I do appreciate you guys for sticking around. A few of you here. Let's just go. Yeah, this guy plays uh, Duelist of the Roses. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he's just really cool. So, yep, go say hello to him, and we'll just head on out from there. So, But, yeah, name is Clovis Senpai. Also runs a YouTube channel with um, Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff on it. So, yeah, go say hi to Clovis. And he's playing, um, he's doing speed runs of Duelist of the Roses. So, uh, this guy knows his stuff, though. So, all right. See you guys. And, uh, Leah, if you're still here, have a good night. Everyone who stayed, appreciate you guys. And we'll see you all next time. All right. Bye bye. <clears throat>stream how are you all hope you're doing well this is kind of like a try hard time um so i kind of need to focus on this for a, a